Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's part one of some epoxy. So, you can see it's starting to flash off. It's dulling down in slots already. So, okay. So, this works out. Looks like it's laying flat. And you'll never see it. Look at all the different shades of guys. That's the way epoxy is. Epoxy will dry differently depending on what's under it. So this area is going to dry a little different. So that self has and primer on it. As opposed to band metal and blah 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 blah. So even after the second coat it might be a little blotchy. All that stuff disappears when you put the high bill on. Right now I see no damage. Uh, I see some sanding scratches, just in the metal, if you put your face against it. But that's all minute to be covered. So, I think it'll be fine. So, let's let it dry. Give it a second coat. Two coats is plenty. You're only putting this on to protect the metal. So, you don't need it that thick. Okay, let's let it play. So, two coats done. Cup is empty. Exactly what I mixed. We're good to go. Looks good to me. Uh, I backed off the air pressure on the gun to try and keep the dirt from the walls from landing on it. This was just to test the gun. See if I had to do any surgery on the gun before we got going. So, doesn't matter if there's little specks in the epoxy. Um, we'll get it out. It's no big deal. Um, everything looks good. I just see one ding in the fender. It looks like it's out with right there so we'll work on that it looks like a, if you roll it it's right in the arch of the well it's like right there um i didn't notice it but then again it's the way i'm sure the way the fender's tilted in the frost and light on it but other than that everything worked good uh garage is not ready for paint by any means not even this but the gun's good i wanted to test the product i never used this before seems to be doing pretty well it seems to be staying at a decent steady sheen with the second coat uh, the stuff I used on the wagon even after the second coat uh, you could still see where the it was spot primed or the filler was you could see the sheen difference but I mean that's the way filler and primer is it gets absorbed into it as it gets absorbed it dries and you're hoping the next coat there's a shield in there so it doesn't go any further that's the whole purpose of sealing it so it doesn't suck the gloss out like chalk but more in this case here I guess we're doing it to protect it so two coats is more than enough of epoxy so um if you're not really trying to fill anything with epoxy you just trying to protect the metal so we're good we got all around the headlight door area in there we got the whole well the front lip here we got the back lip you know where it's inside the car uh, Got the whole jam area got underneath here underneath there and the back side of here where we bolt it um, pretty much the back of the fender is pretty much protected so um, not really worried about it's also a tiny little outward thing right there we talked about that not worried about that the molding covers it uh, that would have been that would have been fun with a little pick hammer on bondo to fix that so with that said guys I don't really don't want to open up the door. I have air coming in the bottom. But uh, I mean, that's the other thing right now, the way the air is coming in. The amount of airflow I have right now is only coming in this little thing on the bottom and in the top. And when it comes across the top, since it's all dirty right now, it's heavy. <laughs> and it goes that way and out. So I usually uh, don't paint right here. I'm back further. And uh, I really have decent luck with dirt. I don't get a lot especially for garage paint jobs so but uh, that's it guys okay guys this is still drying but I think it's looking good texture is flat you can see a little ringing like I said I've had that before with uh, epoxy um, what was I going to say once you throw the high build on you're good like I said, by no means are we ready to paint in here. Um, but everything worked out well, so that's good enough. So I'm going to call this, and uh, that's it. 
Okay, guys. Um, just hanging out outside. But, um, what was I gonna say? I had someone, a friend of mine, offer me something. Um, it's kind of special. It's not an item to keep. It's not even an item. Uh, there's something I wanted to do this year and I couldn't do it. Uh, mostly due to stuff that's happening and going on. You know, it's not, in other words, it's not priority. It's not that I can't do it, it's just not, you know, in the upper group of ten. But, uh, he saw that I wanted to do it and he saw that I wasn't going to be able to do it because of it wasn't in the priority list and he stepped forward and did something for me and I'm going to show you guys it tomorrow so it's pretty cool um, something I haven't done in at least two years so we got the trailer back out and uh, yeah yeah, so the paint laid well. Like I said, epoxy's, epoxy's not a cover-up. It's not a cure-all. It's just a primer with a little bit of a rust inhibitor in it. Not like it was, by no means. Move closer. So, um... But it does help to lock everything out. We'll lock everything in, however you want to word it. And, um... Whatever. Um... I was actually going to, um... Get that car in, uh, epoxy and high build this weekend, but... Uh, because of... This gift... I'm not going to. So that's why I worked on that fender a little tonight. Just to make sure everything was up to snuff on the gun and, you know, whatever. And like I said, I never used that product before. And it seemed to spray just like the last one I sprayed. It's probably from the same company. But I don't know. It's been years. Um, okay, with that, I guess I'm just gambling. I'll show you guys tomorrow. It's supposed to be an awesome weekend. The temperatures are supposed to be awesome. Humidity's supposed to be down. And right now, you, can, yeah, you guys can't see it, but we're looking at stars. So beautiful out. This is the weather I love. So, you get a plane coming by. Oh wait, it's a UFO. See? See, it's a UFO. Oh boy. Okay guys, I'm out of here. Uh, look forward to tomorrow's video because I'm looking forward to it myself. Uh, there's definitely some work involved, but it'll all be pleasure. So, okay guys, I'm out of here.